Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. Dylan here. We have a massive bombshell of a video today about Taylor Swift and Donald J. Trump, okay? Taylor Swift came out and for whatever reason she endorsed Kamala Harris. And you will not believe what is going on with both Taylor Swift and Kamala Harris. It's now being known that Taylor Swift's endorsement of Kamala Harris is actually detrimental to Kamala Harris. And I think it's because all of the people are waking up and realizing that these celebrity endorsements don't really mean much. And in reality, it could actually turn people away because let's face it, who wants to get their political advice from a woman who sings about picking the wrong person? <laughs> Taylor Swift's all of her music sucks. I don't care if you like her music or not. My opinion, I don't understand how this person has accumulated this mass following of just millions of people who, I don't, I mean, her music is mediocre at best. And I mean, now you have Kamala Harris bringing out Taylor Swift, Usher, Leonardo DiCaprio, Eminem, who, by the way, Eminem raps about horrible stuff and now they're trying to get mad at Donald Trump for bringing out a comedian who made a joke about Puerto Rico and they have George Lopez making racist jokes at the same, I mean, it's so hypocritical. So we're gonna dive into Taylor Swift and Donald Trump because Donald Trump <laughs> had some words to say too. And before we do, we're gonna read the Bible and pray because God comes first, amen. Comment amen down below if you believe God comes first. First, okay, today's Bible reading is John 316 my favorite Bible reading for God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life Amen comment amen down below my friends and now let's get started with the video All right, so here's Megan Kelly actually breaking down how Taylor Swift endorsing Kamala Harris is actually backfiring on her Let's tune in what does Trump publicly saying? I hate Taylor Swift as he did on truth social achieve except to make himself look childish and petty. She says Trump needs to publicly say, despite how I feel about Taylor Swift, keep in mind that voting for Kamala means you want to continue runaway inflation and increasing crime and open borders. That's her prescription. What do you think? That doesn't sound like Donald Trump to me. Um, I thought it was perfectly on brand for Trump. And honestly, I know that it caused a lot of consternation. It didn't bother me. I, I mean, as somebody who came out that night and said, screw you, Taylor Swift, I was like, I'm not, I'm running a glass house here. Uh, I realize I'm not running for president and he is, but I don't think that hurt him. I think he's trying to telegraph to people, she's bad. You shouldn't like her either. And there may be some people who are like, you know what, I'm kind of sick of her too. You know how it's like when one person says it, then you're like, you know, I don't really like her either. And then one thing happens after another. Look, there was just a poll out. What was it, Steve? Was it uh, the CNN poll or the Quinnipiac poll? Uh, but, Quinnipiac, yeah. Yeah, Quinnipiac showed uh, that Taylor Swift's endorsement hurt more than helped. Yeah, it's crazy, actually. Um, there's this poll, Kamala Harris, uh, or Taylor Swift's endorsement backfires on Kamala Harris. This poll suggests that Taylor Swift's endorsement actually hurts Kamala Harris. And not only that, but Taylor Swift's endorsement of Kamala Harris also hurt, hurt Taylor Swift. She lost 2 million Spotify listeners after coming out to support a candidate who has no idea what she's doing. Maybe people realized, oh, I don't wanna chew, follow Taylor Swift because all of her songs are about picking the wrong person. Kamala Harris, more people are likely not to vote for her in the wake of the endorsement. So you could argue it was actually smart of Trump to attack her and just telegraph to the MAGA faithful or adjacent who hadn't heard about the endorsement that Taylor sucks. We don't like Taylor. That's it. Taylor Swift does suck and her music is trash. I'm like saying she's on the outs now. I don't, I just think so often, Steve, people are quick to judge Trump's marketing brand and branding instincts. 
And that is the one area where you really shouldn't question him. It's like the same thing. It's like Tim Waltz coming out and being like, oh, I love Eminem's music. It's like, now I just don't want to listen to Eminem anymore. It's the same thing with Trump and Taylor Swift. So here's Donald Trump mocking Kamala Harris's rally guests. She's talking, uh, he's talking about celebrities endorsing Kamala, uh, including Beyonce, which is, you know, basically the same thing as Taylor Swift. You know, Kamala Harris relying on these celeb endorsements and by the way, bringing out Beyonce and all the media outlets that I saw were saying, oh, an expected performance by Beyonce, expected performance by Beyonce. She came out there, gave a little two, three, four minute speech. It, she walked out, no performance, but listen to Donald Trump. You know, we had a very short time with her. She had a little honeymoon period because nobody knew anything about her when they found out about her. She went down the tubes. Yesterday she had Beyonce because she can't draw a crowd. See this crowd? This crowd is packed. I could sell it out three times. You got to see outside. And we don't have Beyonce who couldn't fill the arena last night. But the people went there because they thought they were going to hear Beyonce sing, right? So crazy. Like people showed up to Madison Square Garden. They filled it out. 20,000 people. There was an estimated, I think, another like 80, 100,000 outside. They showed up to see Trump, okay? Trump didn't say, oh yeah, I'm bringing out freaking Bruce Springsteen, which by the way, Bruce Springsteen, oh, Trump's a tyrant. It's like, whatever happened to Bruce Springsteen? Beyonce got out and said, hello, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to uh, endorse her. What's her name? What's her name? <laughs> uh, what, what is her name again? <laughs> oh, I'm gonna endorse her, oh, oh. They, they just don't get it. So what happened is the crowd came because they thought she was going to sing. Then she turned around, she left, and Kamala started speaking, and it was a disaster. They all left, everybody left. We don't need anybody because we are here. Let me be nice. We're, we're here for policy reasons. Oh, yep. policy. What the hell is Taylor Swift or Beyonce going to do for Kamala Harris or for our country for that matter? It's like, they ain't gonna do Jack Billy squat. Now you have Leonardo DiCaprio coming out to support Kamala Harris all of a sudden. This is so strange. It's incredible to be with all of you here today. Like what is going on? I wanna thank the Philadelphia 76ers for being a part of it today. He came all the way out to Philly to do this. At a, he surprised everyone at a concert. But I'm here to remind everyone here today that there are 10 days until this crucial election. It's so weird. And then you got Robert De Niro. Let him die in a jail cell. Saying, let Trump die in an effing jail cell. A Hollywood heartthrob in a brand new role. What's up, Philly? Leonardo DiCaprio endorsing a new leading lady. I mean, can somebody please like address the elephant in the room? Like these are professional actors. They literally are actors. Like them coming up, like how do you trust a professional actor to come up here and give a speech? Like this could very well be a movie scene for Leonardo DiCaprio. This was uh, Donald Trump's reaction to Taylor Swift endorsing Kamala Harris. Let's tune in. The moments after the big debate, Taylor Swift announcing she is voting for Kamala Harris and Tim Walls. She also used her endorsement on Instagram to take a jab at Republican vice presidential nominee J.D. Vance, signing the post, childless cat lady. Joining us now, CNN's Elizabeth Wagmeister. She has jumped in- Wagmeister? <laughs> Couldn't have got a better name. The political fray with no abandon here. She has, and you know, this isn't the first time that Taylor Swift has entered the political fray. Back in 2020, she did endorse Biden and Harris. So oh my gosh, she chose Biden last time? What a joke. We all saw how that turned out to be. So this is what Trump said in response. I actually like Mrs. Mahomes much better if you want to know the truth. 
She's a, she's a big Trump fan. I was not a Taylor Swift fan. It was just a question of time. She <laughs> couldn't, uh, you couldn't possibly endorse Biden. You look at Biden, you couldn't possibly endorse him. But she's a very liberal person. She seems to always endorse a Democrat. Uh, and she'll probably, probably pay a price for it at the, uh, in the marketplace. It's so crazy because you have all these people now just blindly being like, you know, oh, Taylor, uh, Kamala Harris is amazing. It's like they forgot that literally a few months ago, people were saying how she was so boring. She was unlikable, the worst liked VP in history. And she, you know, basically did nothing for the country. And then all of a sudden it's like, this is our woman. This is our person. She was going to save our country. It's absolutely wild. This is actually Joe Rogan talking about Taylor Swift. Let's tune in. They, they fucking love that dude. Well, look at the Taylor Swift thing, which yes. I feel very left out of because I'm the only person that has not seen it. And I don't, I don't get it. Like, she's clearly talented and God bless. I just don't have that thing where but I'm you're like, not a girl. That's yeah, all but it the, is. But the dudes are there too. Yeah, Dave Portnoy loves it. They all, a lot of people love it. And I don't get it. And I just, and I don't begrudge anyone else getting it it's just I not mean, but maybe if you go to one live you'll get it yeah because it's supposed to be a spectacular show e e e sure like tons I, of I, dancers I, and visuals great and... yeah i just it, <laughs> <laughs> that's phenomenal i grew up um, listening to people like tina turner and janice joplin yeah and so to me right. it's like taylor Swift. it's different it's yeah. different that's all i'm gonna say i don't want to be attacked i don't want people following me it's I'll, just it's different it's just it's you know what i mean it's like this is like the same thing about the Barbie movie. Yeah. Maybe it's not for you. That's right. And if it's not for you and you're that's okay. going and giving this scathing review of right. something that's clearly not for you. Right. Look, I get it if that's your business. You're in the culture war business. You're in the critique business. Yeah. You're, you're in the reaction video business. Right. I get it. Right. I get it. But just as like a rational person. Yeah. Like imagine being mad that people like Taylor Swift. No, there's no anger. I would love, I actually, it, like most cultural things, I wish I got it. <laughs> this guy's absolutely hilarious. He's a comedian. One of Joe Rogan's best friends, actually. I, I think he is the same feeling as most of us. It's like, we're not mad, but it's like, we're, what are we supposed to be supporting here? Why, why do people love Taylor Swift so much? Is it because... She appeals to these feministic, childless, you know, cat owners who, you know, they're, they're sad and they're upset with the world because they're, they're lonely and they, you know, never found love. And Taylor Swift, she talks, you know, she sings about, you know, picking the wrong guy. And it's like, oh, it's the guy's fault. It's the guy's fault. It's the guy's fault. It's the guy's fault. Oh, after 30 guys, maybe you notice a pattern. Maybe it's not their fault. Maybe it's you. And the more you talk crap about your exes online, maybe you guys don't want to date you anymore. <laughs> it's like, maybe ever thought about that? So, um, this guy, Tony Hinchcliffe, he's facing a lot of backlash over his uh, little comedy set that he did um, during the Madison Square Garden event. Um, he talked about Taylor Swift in this and I wanted to play it because, yeah, I'll just let you guys watch. I don't know about you guys, but I think that Travis Kelsey might be the next OJ Simpson. Feels good in here. The other side's got a lot of crazy endorsements. Swift, Eminem, Leo DiCaprio, Beyonce. Every day the Democratic Party looks more and more like a P. Diddy party. Oh, oh, okay. Okay, that's what you guys want. That comedian is facing a ton of backlash. He's actually one of Joe Rogan's friends. Um, here's Vivek Ramaswamy uh, talking to CNN about it. Uh, on Fox earlier saying the joke doesn't reflect the views of President Trump or our campaign, specifically talking about the Puerto Rico joke, but also she said the crowd, they didn't mind. Uh, you were there. Did you mind? Look. So let me bring up the joke, the, the exact joke that they're talking about. This is the one that they're basically trying to cancel him for and kind of cancel Trump for as well. Where are my proud Latinos at tonight? You guys see what I mean? It's wide open. There's so many of them. It's absolutely incredible. By the way, this is a professional comedian who's known for, for roasting people. 
Believe it or not, people, I welcome migrants to the United States of America with open arms. And by open arms, I mean like this. <laughs> it's wild. And these Latinos, they love making babies, too. Just know that. They do. They do. There's no pulling out. They don't do that. They come inside, just like they did to our country. There's a lot going on. Like, I don't know if you guys know this, but there's literally a floating island of garbage in the middle of the ocean right now. Yeah. I think it's called Puerto Rico. <laughs> Which, by the way, apparently, I looked into it. Apparently, there is some truth to that joke, because I guess Puerto Rico has a lot of problems with trash. Look, the fact of the matter is I wasn't in the room when that joke was made, but I gotta say, we gotta take a step back and look at the double standards here, Brianna. Let's be really honest. George Lopez made a joke at Kamala Harris's rally over the weekend about all Mexicans being thieves. Are we attributing that comment to Kamala Harris or querying all of her proxies who were at that rally? No, we're not. So I think we need to all get off our high horses and acknowledge that a bad joke was told. It was bad because it wasn't very funny. The audience didn't find it funny. The guys told other funny jokes in other places. This wasn't one of them. But and you know what's crazy, guys, is Vivek brings up a good point. They had George Lopez out recently who made a very racist joke. And then he also told a racist joke not only about Mexicans, but also about other races, too. Watch this. He said, don't marry someone black. Like, why not? I guess a black woman stood up, he called her a B-word and kicked her out. Sit your, I'm talking bitch, sit your fucking ass down. Pay to see, you pay to see a show, sit your ass down. You can't take a joke, you're in the wrong motherfucking place. You can't take a joke, you're in the wrong, so sit your fucking ass down and get the fuck out of here. Oh my god! Someone said, when it comes to the Democrats, there's always a double standard. Someone said, uh, Equin said, when a comedian is associated with Republicans, anything they do is bad. When a comedian is associated with Democrats, they can say whatever they want. <laughs> it is kind of, it is kind of wild that, you know, George Lopez, George Lopez said that and nobody cares. Let's be really honest. George Lopez made a joke at Kamala Harris's rally over the weekend about all Mexicans being thieves. Are we attributing that comment to Kamala Harris or querying all of her proxies who were at that rally? No, we're not. So I think we need to all get off our high horses and acknowledge that a bad joke was told. It was bad because it wasn't very funny. The audience didn't find it funny. The guys told other funny jokes in other places. This wasn't one of them. But the media manufacturing of outrage out of this is really just a double standard when you look at the exact kind of jokes being told at the Kamala Harris rally over the weekend. And the fact well, is, if George you've Lopez seen a comedy the show rally, before, you've you've seen seen it. So I try to do as much research as possible, so I've been looking up articles. This was one that I found um, from 2022. Living in Puerto Rico, 17 things you should know before moving to the island. I guess uh, number 13 on the list, they did talk about this trash issue. Uh, an unfortunate thing about Puerto Rico's beautiful beaches is that sometimes they have a lot of garbage on them. Some of it is washed ashore, some of it left by visitors. It can be frustrating to see such beautiful landscapes ruined by inconsiderate actions. Um, so yeah, I don't know honestly much about Puerto Rico. I had considered moving there at one point to kind of avoid paying taxes <laughs> because you guys know how taxes is in California. But now Kamala Harris is basically rely, I mean, not only relying on it, but they are, they actually launched a Taylor Swift theme campaign, the DNC launched a Taylor Swift themed campaign ahead of the election. We'll see how this is doing. Taylor Swift performs on stage during Taylor Swift's Eras tour. I just don't get it. I don't get the support for her at all. 
the Democratic National Committee is launching a Taylor Swift theme campaign to encourage young people in battleground states to vote for Vice President Kamala Harris. Do you guys think this is a good strategy? The committee announced the campaign Friday, the same day that the pop star is uh, set to perform Era's tour in Miami. The news comes after Taylor Swift shared her endorsement of Taylor of Harris the night of the first and only debate on September 10th. I'm voting for Harris because she fights for the rights and human uh, for the rights and causes I believe need a warrior to champion them. Taylor Swift's endorsement might count in the U.S. presidential election. Let's watch this, guys. Mick, we do have to wrap things up, but we've seen, I mean, Hollywood stars, we've got Leonardo DiCaprio, Beyonce on the weekend, Bruce Springsteen all coming out to back Kamala. Does this actually work in your perspective? Do voters really want to be told by Hollywood stars how they should vote? It's so insensitive as no, well. The only, no, the only reason that matters very quickly is that the Taylor Swift endorsement might count because her followers include disproportionately large numbers of young single women and young single women don't vote very heavily in this country again we do not have compulsory voting if the taylor swift endorsement can bring 15 20 25 thousand new voters to kamal harris that could make an, uh, an impact but ordinarily <laughs> nobody listens to hollywood for who they should vote for it's such a wild strategy to bring out these hollywood elite multi-million people with 500 million bucks a billion like People who have made their money acting, being pops, or being part of the system, and they're like, oh, vote for Kamala Harris. You don't make your life better. It's like, they don't relate to you. You know what actually is a good endorsement, in my opinion, and a good uh, group of young women who just came out to support Trump are these girls, Girls Gone Bible. These are these young Christian women who talk about purity, talk about Jesus, talk about our Lord. They just recently prayed over Donald J. Trump. This, I think, is actually powerful and actually showing young women that Donald J. Trump is the, is the one to support. Look at Trump here, holding a Bible, getting prayed over. Let's tune in. Please, God, that would lay his head at night, he would rest peacefully, that the weight of the world would no longer rest on his shoulders, God, but he would have a personality in of joy and peace. May your will be done and may we be glorified, Jesus. Holy Spirit, I just pray that you show me the revelation of the person of Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. You're so welcome. Jesus loves you. He's so much. Wow. They're saying Jesus loves you. I'm literally tearing up because it just really pains me that you know, people have this bad image of Trump, and I feel bad for for people who, you know, they listen to Taylor Swift, they listen to Beyonce, they listen to these people like, oh my gosh, Tim Walls, like, he's not a good guy at all. Yeah, this is what Donald Trump said, he he shared out, I hate Taylor Swift. He, he also reacted to Taylor Swift. Uh, let's tune in. What do you have to say to Taylor Swift now that she's in politics? Taylor Swift's jumping into politics. What do you have to say to her? And what did she say? She said she wants people to vote for Democrats. And not Marsha Blackburn, especially. You know, well, Marsha Blackburn is doing a very good job in Tennessee. She's leading now substantially, which she should. She's a tremendous woman. I'm sure Taylor Swift has nothing or no, doesn't know anything about her. And, uh... Let's say that I like Taylor's music about 25% less now, okay? <laughs> Classy response. Here's Ben Shapiro talking about the endorsement. The other big piece of news last night. At long last, the moment has come. Tay Tay McSwift, she has finally issued her endorsement. And the crowd goes mild. Wow. <laughs> that was unexpected. By the way, she endorsed biden harris last time in 2020 i mean is everyone forgetting this it's not as though she's an apolitical figure all this ridiculous nonsense about why isn't she satisfied and we know who she supports we know we know she's a 36 year old single woman with no children who acts like she's 17 years old in all of her songs what do you think she's voting for <laughs> ben shapiro going hard <laughs> i love ben how do you think she's gonna vote there's a shocker Hang on, you can chalk this one up under, this is already embedded in the system. Like, if you think this is going to win additional votes, all of a sudden a bunch of 20-year-old women who weren't voting for, for Kamala Harris are, are suddenly going to rush to the polls because Taylor told them to. <laughs>
Yeah, good, good luck. So she put out a statement, quote, like many of you, I've watched the debate tonight. If you haven't already, now's a great time to do your research on the issues at hand and the stances these candidates take on the topics that matter to you the most. As a voter, I make sure to watch and read everything I can about their proposed policies and plans for this country. Who thinks that's true? <laughs> really, I, I, really? She like of the Austrian school, the, the Chicago School of Economics, Keynesian, like, well, what, what is her, I, I want her hot take on the impact of supply-side economics. <laughs> ben Shapiro's hilarious. I, I, I'm sure that's what she does. She sits around on that tour bus just all day long reading about the readiness of the American military on the foreign front. That, that's what she does. <laughs> ben Shapiro's hilarious. She, bra she browses all of their campaign plans. Uh -huh. Probably that's what she does. Anyway. Recently, I was made aware that AI of me falsely endorsing Donald Trump's presidential run was posted to his site. It really conjured up my fears around AI and the dangers of spreading misinformation. It brought me to the conclusion I need to be very transparent about my actual plans for this election as a voter. Okay, so now she's going to explain why she's even bothering to do this. Now, the, the answer is, of course, because there's lots of social pressure for her to do it, so she's going to do it. Uh, my question is, what do these celebrities gain by coming out? Like, what does Leonardo DiCaprio gain? What does Mark Cuban gain? What does um, Usher gain? Eminem, Taylor Swift. What do all these people gain by coming out and supporting Kamala? If anything, they're losing like support from people. I don't understand that at all. So anyways, massive update with Taylor Swift. Let me know your thoughts down below. Are you a Taylor Swift fan? Are you going to support Kamala now that Taylor Swift uh, does? <laughs> Let me know your thoughts down below.